Okay, so you've just taken an interest in photography. You understand that your phone is not gonna get you the results that you want if you are trying to take it very seriously, but you also don't want to invest $900 into a camera. What are your options? Well, today I would like to point you into the direction of the camera that I started with that you can pick up for really cheap and the results for the price that you pay are fantastic. One moment. This is the Canon PowerShot SX50 HS. It's a 12 year old point and shoot, but I have an argument as to why this might be the best camera for a beginner to start with. So we've got the power shot here, over a decade old. What makes this the camera that I would recommend to someone who is just starting out in photography? Well, there's a few things. Firstly, the 50X optical zoom. This lens is incredibly versatile. You're gonna get a wide range of different types of shots you can get. I've taken pictures of airplanes, pictures of the moon, pictures of bees on flowers, and the quality of these images, the versatility of this lens for someone who's just starting out, I think having that versatility is really important because someone who's just starting out in photography has not discovered what types of photos they like to take. So having a tool that can let you explore multiple different photographic avenues, I think is key to finding a passion in photography. A lot of people who start out with a single type of camera and a single type of lens only end up taking photos of certain types of things and maybe they don't enjoy that. So they think that they don't enjoy photography when the reality is, no, you just bought a macro lens and you don't like product photography. So this thing is a, a good, inexpensive way to get into photography and try multiple different kinds. It is a fixed lens. This is the only lens that will ever be on this camera. It does not come off, but to have the versatility that this thing has, I'd say this is a great first camera for exploring multiple different avenues of photography. Okay, so there's another reason why I really like this camera and why I would recommend it to anyone who's first starting out. And that is this camera's ability to grow with you. So as with most cameras, there is of course an auto mode on the mode selector wheel and that essentially turns it into the same kind of camera that's on your phone. Point and shoot. Really simple, no settings to worry about. Point the camera towards something you think looks nice, hit the shutter button, you got a photo. But the way that this camera can grow with you is that you can dive into manual settings. It's got manual mode, you can adjust focus, ISO, shutter speed, all kinds of different settings in a manual mode. And I think it's really important for someone first starting out to have that option because if you're only shooting in auto all the time, you're never gonna feel like you're progressing. You're gonna keep getting the same exact quality of image every single time and feel like you're not getting better at it. So being able to choose what settings to choose to adjust is a great touch in order for someone to start out by trying to tweak the ISO and see, oh, I like how that looks. I'm gonna keep this setting. The more you dive into it, the more you dive into the settings, the more you feel like progress is being made in your photography journey and you're more likely to stick with it. Now, one other thing I really like about this camera is the fact that it has an electronic viewfinder. What does that mean? That means you don't have to rely on the LCD screen to see what you're getting a shot of. If it's a bright, sunshiny day and you can't see this screen, you can close this, put your face right up to this, look right through there, and you will see exactly what the camera sees. This can allow you to adjust your settings and be able to accurately adjust them in order to get the shot that you want something that's lacking on my own personal camera right now. Sometimes it's bright outside, I'm trying to take a photo, I think I've got focus nailed, I think I've got the right settings dialed, I take the picture and I don't notice that it looks like crap until it's already transferred over to my iPad and I begin editing and I say, ah oh, crap, that was out of focus. You won't have that problem with this. 
you can look at the LCD, or you can look through the electronic viewfinder. You can always see what you're taking a picture of. All right, so work got kind of crazy. I twisted my ankle and spent yesterday laying in bed and I forgot to record an outro for this video, but, but yeah, I think if you are first starting out or just now trying to step up your game in photography, you can get a good camera for not very much money. And I think this power shot is actually a really good choice. Now I'm gonna throw some pictures that I've taken with this camera on screen so you can see the quality of the images. Just know they may be kind of compressed because they're all screenshots from Instagram, Vero, and other social media platforms. These aren't the original files. These are the types of images you can expect to get out of this 12-year-old camera. And I think you'll agree that they're not half bad. Thanks for watching.